who's been held in those conditions in captivity for five years has paid an extraordinary price. But that, that is really uh, not the point. The point is that he's back. He's going to be safely reunited with his family. He served the United States with honor and distinction. All right, folks, uh, welcome back. That, of course, was Susan Rice on Sunday. Uh, this hour, you've already heard Susan Rice today, basically, uh, when asked about those comments, uh, sticking by them, doubling down on them, uh, despite uh, the evidence that we have seen. Joining us now is our friend Ellis Hennigan, Newsday columnist, author. And uh, I know you got a, a new one that's going to be out uh, in the future that you just finished. You're very excited about and it sounds exciting to me, How to Catch a Russian Spy. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate the book hype. All authors need hype. I appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, well, that's a great title. You can't be more to the Thank point. You. How to Catch a Russian Spy. How are you, buddy? Good, good. Maybe good. Obama, maybe you can send the first copy to Obama. <laughs> you know, and they could, uh, they could li live and learn from that. All right. So don't tell me that you agree with Susan Rice. Well, of course. I mean, you're not in favor of leaving honorably? our... He served honorably? You, you're not in favor no, well, of leaving... Well, let me... Let me well, let's start with the order in which she said it. Well, he served me, honorably? Um, I don't think we know the answer. I think we do know it. I think we'll let justice be done upon his return. If the guy did something bad, let's punish him for it. No problem with that. But you wouldn't want him to be punished before he had his day in court or in a court martial, would you? Well, I don't know. Do you believe in evidence, Steve, I, I, or you don't I, need I, evidence? We've seen all you the know. evidence. We've seen all the evidence. You, you I, I, know. I, Steve I, knows he doesn't have any right to a trial, a court martial, no, anything. No, he, he has every right to well, one. Good. If, Thank if, you. If we could have gotten Thank released. You. If we could Thank have gotten released. You don't go for the release of someone who left a note saying that he despised America and he wanted to go out. A father told him, follow your conscience. Um, he, uh, he, you don't want him to follow his conscience. Steve, not if let, it's, wait, wait, Steve, let me finish. Let, no, no, let me, let I'm me, giving let, you the evidence that you say doesn't exist. Let me it does exist. Let me protect you from yourself here, Steve. Yeah, please do. You do not want to go down this road that I think you sound like you may be heading down. Let, let's, let's, see, let's, come on, let's see if you and I can agree on yeah, a couple of principles. Ahead. When we send our kids over there, and they are kids, let's, let's, let's recognize that. When we send them over there, we have a responsibility to get them back. Whether they are our best kids or our worst kids, we have a duty as Americans. We are not the kind of people who leave our soldiers in the battle zone. Well, Do you agree with that? Well, let me just tell you what, what soldiers have told me. Not don't in care. all cases. Don't care. You don't care what's no. so you know no. better than the soldiers. I, well, I excuse have, me, I put my faith with those who served. Have you served? I believe that we I have haven't. A, we believe that we have a process. If you have any issues with this guy's performance on the battlefield, there are a huge amount of venues yes. to resolve we those things. We agree on that, but here's the problem. Here's well, the problem. Get him home and then resolve it. Why what's wrong with that? Why did we give up to get him home? Oh, it's terrible. We didn't rescue him at no cost. Okay. Uh, we we put, gave that up. In the, put that in the hopper when you begin the court martial. But do not. Do it is listen. You do not, Steve. You're a better person than someone who would want to defend leaving our young soldiers on the battlefield. I am not. The, you no, do so not you believe now, in now that. You're, do, you're doing what the left does. You oh, do not believe so in that. Well, you're right. So why would you say I do? Because I, you're because you're trying no, to defend I've never, that. No, I've never. Ellis, I never said I believe in leaving our soldiers well, on the on the battlefield. Well, field. then you agree with me. This That's great. Soldier, no. Now let me finish because I know you know better. You're just trying to because you don't have an answer that you know resonates with the public. I've got you stumped public. on this one, buddy. Yeah, I'm really stumped. I'm right. I'm I mean, so the, stumped. here's the problem. No, no, Steve. let me finish. Let me finish because you're accusing well, me of all kinds. No, no, out, I'm going to get my say in. Let me get I did out. not. I do not favor leaving our soldiers on the battlefield. He was not on the battlefield. Indications are, and the proof and the evidence all points to the fact that he went willingly to the enemy because he favored the enemy. And the price we paid to get him back by putting a target now on the back of every American soldier after six died looking for him already, and kidnappings are now going to be in the offing for American citizens traveling, not to mention what's going to happen to little girls with these Taliban thugs back there. I know you're not in favor of lie and acid being thrown in the faces of little girls. Are you, Ellis? I'll play your game. Um, you think that that still justifies going after this guy and paying that huge, huge price? I guess that means you don't believe in the rule of law. We have a system in place. Well, do you believe Wait, in Steve, throwing no, acid? You didn't Steve, say you no, didn't believe Steve, in throwing Steve, acid in Steve, the face of little girls. Steve, do I'm, you? Steve, I'm going to leave unless you let me talk. I'm you letting you do talk. Not you're give a you're speech. accusing. Don't threaten. Steve, Alice, do not give a leave, speech. There's and then, the door. Steve, do not, give a, door. do not give a speech and then and then overshout me. Let me make my uh, point. Well, then don't put words in my mouth. Let me, let me, my friend, make a point in a calm way. Perhaps, and shouting doesn't make you more right, by the way. When you put words in my mouth and say I favor leaving our men on the battlefield, 
that's a lie, and I will shout my answer that I do not favor that. Now you could go. Let me, are you finished? Sure. Okay. There is a principle here that is an important principle. We bring our people home, and even our people who we have fears about, who we don't like, whose friends say bad things about, we have processes in place to deal with those issues. There is an order that is the proper order, that is the American order that we have lived by for more than 200 years in this country. We get them home. If there's an issue with their behavior, we try them. And we always, in every single war, from Iran, Contra, you, you name it, there are always instances where as the war winds down, we trade prisoners, we negotiate with bad people, we send back some awful fighters from the battlefield. There is nothing new about this, except that there's a president who is doing it who you and your friends don't like. That's what's different in this case. The principle <laughs> is the same as it has always okay. been. You defended it when Reagan did it, and you should be defending it when, right. when this well, president Well, you don't does. know what I defended when Reagan did it. When Reagan did it, how old was I, and where was I, and where were you? you so I don't know when you, when you heard this, me do that when this, Reagan this, did it. This misty day okay. you defended. But, but, so, but, so, but, so, but, no, 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 Every soldier that he served with said we should not have done what we did. How do you explain that? Do they have a president they don't like? Is that the reason? You know what? I look forward to their testimony in the court, Marshal. We have a process for resolving that, and it is not your anger. That's not the resolving body. There's a process. They may have all hated him. They might have all thought he was a horrible guy. I don't care. Bring him home. Put him on trial if you want to, and resolve it that way. That's how we do things in America, because we are better than our enemies. Another fallacy is that this has always been done. In fact, in a post-9-11 world, until Barack Obama has now set the tone and set the precedent, causing one released Taliban, or Omar, the, the top Taliban guy, saying, we're going to up our kidnappings now. Uh, and putting a target on the back of every American soldier, and as I said, every American civilian traveling to troubled places around the world. We have never, until Barack Obama did what he did in a post-9-11 world, negotiated with terrorist networks and made this kind of exchange. So this is a precedent-setting event. Always. Since 9-11? Tell Always. me when. Tell well, me listen, when. Listen, well, Obama's been the president for only much of that period. We did it in every single... We did it in Vietnam. We did it in uh, uh, Korea. Uh, uh, Ellis, we did what it in is World it about War post II. We did it in... Well, you've, you've just eliminated all of yes, American history. Yes, we're in a different history. world. Well, the it's guy's a different been, war. Steve, the guy's been we're the president. We're not fighting a country. The guy has been the president. We haven't ended any wars until now. This is, and let me, it's, it's going to get worse. We're not worse. ending the war on it's terror, get, and we're not leaving gonna, Afghanistan. It's, we're there. It's going to get worse from your perspective. Be, let me tell you, because Guantanamo's going to shut down. We're going to send all of those people out of there. Some against, are going to come. You mean against the law, are, like he did some, this? Some are going to come to American prisons. Some are going to go back to their native lands. But prisoners of war are not kept after the war is over. Never has well, been, never shall be. Well, let me ask you shall a question. Be. All of a sudden, these people have become prisoners of war. That's I love the are. administration. Really? Since when do we try prisoners well, of to war? these guys, Wait, were they can, I can, I, can I finish? Can I finish? Were they Since try? when do we try prisoners of war down the block in a civilian court, federal court, the way this administration wanted to take well, the, the worst am, plotters of 9-11 and put them there. I, if you, they can't be prisoners of war and be tried in civilian court. So which are well, they, Ellis? I am thrilled. Steve, if you're joining me in suggesting that we should get these people in criminal court immediately <laughs> and put them on no. trial, you and I can agree right. right now. Ellis, that would be Ellis, great. So which are they, Give them Ellis? lawyers and put them on trial Ellis, if we have which, any evidence. Okay, Ellis, so which are they? Prisoners of war not tried in civilian courts. Those this administration has fought tooth and nail to try these people from Gitmo in civilian courts. Now when they transfer Steve, them out of the car, let me finish, those, now they're POW. So I'm asking you, Ellis, which are they? Those who we have evidence against, we should put on trial. Those who we have simply snatched from the battlefield as the war ends, we should send home to their countries. It's not that complicated, Steve. It's, it's always been that way, and it shall continue to be that way. That is how decent nations and decent really, people and respond. Really, and decent presidents break the law when they release prisoners you know again. What? Wait, you I'm going to finish here. File, against, file the advi lawsuit. against the advice. File a lawsuit? File a so, lawsuit. So you have no problem with the president breaking the law. Is well, that what you're telling I, I, well, me? Well, what I know is that the Joint Chiefs of Staff said it was fine. The Attorney General no, said no, it was no, fine. No, 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 no. They didn't the say it was fine. The military said it was fine. They agreed with they the all, deal. They, they all approved it. They, they all approved it. They agreed with the deal. You didn't. Congress. 
Congress, who by law needs to be notified, no. wasn't. That's take, no, that's no big up, deal, take, right? Take Follow it, the law? Take, nah. it up, take it up with the Attorney General, oh, who's the Chief yeah. Law Enforcement okay. Officer in this Spoken matter. like a true liberal. Listen, you don't agree. I get that. You hate the president, but you... Really? In the Ellis, end... Ellis, how in the, dare you in the again end. Steve, you put know what? word... This is, kill his mic, please? Is, Steve, next kill time... Kill his mic. Kill his mic. How dare you say, I hate the president? How dare you say that? That's not, that is wrong, that is evil, and that's beneath you, beneath you. We're coming back on the Steve Molesberg Show.